Hey guys, welcome back to Mom Likely. My name's Sean, if this is your first time tuning in. Today I just want to tell you guys all about how to get rid of lice as fast as you can. So the two methods to get rid of lice are basically the chemical and the more natural remedies. So the chemical way is going to be the lice killing shampoo, which will be instant within about 15 minutes. And then the next way is going to be the more natural, which you can use like olive oil, mayonnaise, or um, any type of oil and that has to sit on the head for 15 to 20 hours um, but that doesn't guarantee anything when it comes to the lice eggs that only kills and suffocates basically the lice bug however they will um, like hold their breath for like up to 15 hours in certain situations so if you do go the natural remedy route you need to do that for several days um, to keep on the bug. So and if you have small children, it might just not be, you know, um, realistic to use the natural remedy because it's going to be hard to keep all that stuff on your child's head for that long. Um, and they may get very irritated and this is, this can be a traumatizing time for them. So just keep that in mind when choosing the remedy, but you know, also do pick what's best for you. I'm just giving you the options and you know, just, you know, my opinion on it. So when you are looking for the lice initially, the areas that you're going to want to look for are right here, like in this top area. And if you have girls too, you can look inside of like where their ponytail would sit. Also behind the ears, like right in here. And then like right underneath your hair, like right at the nape of your neck near like where your your hair tail would be right there is where you're going to find um, the hot spots per se of where the bugs pretty much tend to try to lay their eggs and where they kind of try to nestle but you will find them all over the entire head but when you are looking initially for something and you're unsure take a really good look right there and you could even use a flashlight um, and that will help you a lot so I'll actually insert a picture right here of what the lice bugs and the eggs look like just so you know what you're looking for. But don't forget that down in the description box below, I will have a video that shows you from somebody showing you what they actually look like and then also the combing technique because those are going to be really important. So this is the one secret that I've came across that have just helped me to double down on being able to do this as fast as I can. It cuts the time in half that it takes to get rid of this and get the situation under control so that way, you know, infestation doesn't manifest. Okay, so first up, I just wanna start by saying that if you get lice, it's not a dirty thing. I know a lot of people have a misconception about it and it's actually the reverse. Um, cause lice just typically love clean hair because it's easier for them to nest there and make a home there and there's not things there that they don't like. So. Um, don't ever think that if you have lice or you know somebody that has it that you know they're a gross person or something like that because that's not the case and there are even people who have like dirtier hair that have gotten it as well so they really just don't care it's just something that happens now where does it come from I'm not entirely sure but I do know that you don't have to worry about it coming from your pets because we have a new pup so that worried me right off the bat whether or not he had it or how I would treat him but dog cannot get lice um, They'll, they might have their own form of lice, but we cannot go back and forth transferring lice between pet and human. So you don't have to worry about that. So next up, the first thing that you're going to want to do if you decide that you, um, not decide, but if you notice that you have lice or your kids have lice, which I'm guessing uh, your kids have it, that's why you've searched out this video because that's how that's why I wanted to make this video was to inform other people about it. And so I have done a lot of research um, about it to initially the first time, which is my kids had lice twice now, which we got it horrible last summer. And I was left with it for a month until I finally figured out how to handle it. And so now this time around, um, after we had gotten it again, and then after I just found it on my youngest daughter this past week, I found it one day I noticed the signs right away which were scratching uh, once you deal with having lice in your home it's like if you notice that it's almost a panic to hurry up and take care of the situation so if you're monitoring and paying attention to your kids uh, especially after you initially if you have contact with it one time then you will know the signs and what to look out for if it is to reoccur so I seen that she was scratching abnormally and I was like, okay, let me go ahead and check her. And sure enough as crap, there it was. I seen a bug, I seen some eggs and I was like, okay, it's time to go. So 
there are natural ways that you can get rid of lice. Uh, however, I'm going to tell you in this video, if you want to get rid of it as fast as you possibly can, like I'm trying to portray to you here, you're not going to want to use natural home remedies. Don't click off the video yet because there are still things you can do. It will work for you. It's just that if you want to have it go away as fast as you can, I'm going to recommend that you get an over-the-counter lice shampoo. And the number one secret ingredient to getting rid of lice fast is apple cider vinegar. So I will show you guys right here on the screen what those items look like. Now first up, the apple cider vinegar is the way that you're going to handle the lice so that way it doesn't come back. This is the way that you're going to treat it after the initial treatment of killing the lice because there are two things. There's lice, which are the bugs that are there, the active lice, the live ones, and then there's their eggs. So the only thing that will actually kill the eggs is heat. So that's heat from like fire, the dryer, um, you know, a straightener, those types of heat. Not just any old heat that you can just put on you or your child's head. So that's the only thing that's going to actually kill a lice egg. That is why it is super important for you to use the apple cider vinegar as the method for treating it so that it doesn't come back. So I will tell you here, so step one, right? You notice that there's lice on you or your child. So run out to the store, get you a lice shampoo kit. You're gonna shampoo the lice. It has to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, something like that. You'll see in this photo here, I did my daughter's hair and it's very wet. You wanna saturate the head. You wanna make sure that it's all the way wet um, as if basically your child just got out of the shower. Tie it up. It's best practice for you to put like a Meyer bag or like, you know, a shopping bag over the head while you're waiting for that time and then go ahead and rinse. Now, this is what's gonna get rid of those active lice the fastest. So this will kill all active bugs and lice and there will be no more egg laying. They're not gonna run around, you know. Also, they do not jump, so don't worry about that. They don't jump. If they fall somewhere, they're gonna wanna find a home, a new head, but they can't jump around. So while you're treating your child, don't worry about them jumping on you because let me tell you, the first time that I seen this, I literally had to call my mom over. I was screaming. It was bad. I was a really bad mother in that moment. The first time that I seen lice for myself on my child. I had it as a child, but I never actively saw it. So it was like, it was such a shock. I was in such disbelief that it put me in panic. I had real anxiety that day. Um, and I actually scared my daughter. So I'm going to tell you, you also need to remain calm. <laughs> Bite your teeth, do whatever you need to do, just don't scare your child because this can be traumatizing for small children if you do find it on smaller children. Um, you know, it's worrisome, you know, they're kind of taught that, you know, bugs are bad and stuff like that. So don't make them feel bad about this, comfort them. While you're doing the treatment, make sure they're warm. Um, you know, have them warm clothes ready for when after they're done with their treatment. You know, just make the process for them as smooth as you possibly can because it's going to be, you know, a little bit traumatic for both of you. So if this is your first time coming in contact with it, don't stress, don't worry. Just do step one, which is kill the active lice. From there, you're going to want to move on to doing a combing. So if you get a lice kit, you know, this is like the third time I've dealt with this at this point. So I don't need the lice kit gel for this. You can just use a um, very slip worthy conditioner. I like Tresemme conditioner. So after I sh finish washing out the lice killing shampoo, you're going to go in and just put in some uh, conditioner. And what the conditioner is going to do is just act as a guide so that way you can get this small little comb in there. So this is the comb right here that you'll be using. I highly recommend that you do not use the small plastic combs that come with the kits because they just don't work as well. And to make this process as fast as, to make it go away as fast as you possibly can, I really recommend that you use this metal comb. You don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on like the shocking comb that you'll see there with batteries and power and stuff. It's really not necessary. You just need that metal comb and some woman power and some time. It's going to take time. This isn't going to be easy. I said this is the fastest way to get rid of lice, not the easiest. So, so once they're showered and stuff like that and they're warm, set them down you need to work in sections i'm talking like one inch sections probably you know something around this you want it to be really small sections because you're working with a really small comb with very fine teeth 
You're going to take that comb through there. I'm also going to list down in the description box two videos that you can watch so you know, number one, what you're looking for, and number two, how exactly to comb through the hair. Because just combing the hair isn't enough. There is a technique that you can do to really bump up and make sure that you're getting as many lice eggs, knits that you can with each pass. So this is a very time consuming process. So I'm going to highly recommend that you watch these videos so that you can do it right the first time instead of dragging this process out. Because like I said, the first time I did this, I was really uninformed and I was just kind of winging it thinking I was doing the best thing that I could. And it took me over a month to get rid of it between the two girls. Um, luckily, I didn't get it myself because that I can't find I can't see myself doing it on myself. But um, if you know the techniques to use for combing, that also makes it a breeze. So now let's move on to the next step. So after you've done those two things, so now you've used the um, lice shampoo to kill the active lice, the bugs, and you've done your first combing to get rid of as many um, lice or lice eggs that you can. Also, tip. You might think that because what I'm gonna say for number three, that number two isn't important, which is combing after using the shampoo, but it very much still is because after that very first combing, especially after using the lice shampoo, there may still be some little straggler bugs in there depending on the amount of infestation that you find. So you wanna make sure that you're going in there that first time and getting out all the dead or active or alive bugs and as many eggs as you possibly can that first time, okay? That's what's most important about it. Now, moving into step three, this is the money right here. After that step, what you're going to want to do is drench your child's hair in apple cider vinegar. Now, this is a natural home thing. This is not going to hurt them. It's going to stink. So try to keep them like away from your fabric furniture. But um, all you want to do is saturate the hair. Again, here is a picture of my daughter with her hair completely saturated it's just up into a bun now you're gonna leave this in until it dries or for at least 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes at least but what I did was I just left it in until it dries because apple cider vinegar is the natural way to break down the glue that holds the egg onto the hair shaft so when you're doing these combings, even if you're using conditioner, a lot of times you think you got all the eggs and there's one that gets left behind now the reason why it takes a lot of people so long to get rid of lice is because they're not combing enough. And so when you prolong the combing process, sometimes there's an egg that gets left behind and then all of a sudden before you know it, you have another infestation. And that is because lice bugs can reproduce themselves. They don't need a male and a female, they just need one. And one can lay up to like 10 to 20 eggs per day. So by the end of the month, you can have like a full blown problem if you're not keeping on this. So with step number three, you're going to drench and saturate the hair in the apple cider vinegar. Allow that to dry. You can do it overnight. This is a very long process for small kids um, as well as for you. So I recommend that you just go ahead and let it dry unless you're dealing with older children. And then the following day, you can come back and spend more time on this because since the active bugs are gone, you don't have, um, um, there's no threat now initially. Now, the eggs do hatch every like seven to 10 days. And so you can look at them right there. There's pictures of what the egg life cycle, life cycle kind of looks like. You can kind of determine that yourself. You know how long you've been dealing with the infestation. So you can kind of better decide that for yourself. However, so what you're going to want to do, since you don't have to worry about it, go back the next day and do another combing. You're going to have to get the hair re-wet. You're going to have to add conditioner again and then go back through with that metal comb and use the combing technique and get out as many eggs as you can. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you put the apple cider vinegar back in the hair and then you do it once more. Now, it, if it's not very bad, you don't have to use the apple cider vinegar again, but if you're noticing there's still a noticeable amount of eggs left in the hair, or you don't feel like you're really getting them all, depending on the texture of the hair, things like that, I'm gonna recommend that you go back in with the apple cider vinegar and then redo the combing again too. So it's just a process. So, okay, so step number one, you're gonna shampoo the hair to kill all active lice. Make sure there's no active bugs so you can take away the threat of spreading. 
Number two, you're gonna go through and do a combing and get as many eggs out as you possibly can using a slippery conditioner or gel. And then step number three, you're gonna go through and saturate the hair with apple cider vinegar and leave it on until the hair is completely dry. And then the following day or within an hour's time, go back through and do another combing because the apple cider vinegar will break down that glue and it'll allow you to remove those eggs a lot better. So what you're gonna wanna do after you do all of this and while you're doing it, because what I did here was as soon as I found all this, I stripped the bedding. You don't have to go crazy if you don't have an infestation initially. You know, the bugs and the eggs are not gonna live on all the surfaces in your house. You don't have to go crazy. Like I said in the beginning, the only thing that's gonna actively kill the eggs and the bugs is heat. So basically you can only treat yourself with the chemicals. You can't put the chemicals everywhere. You also don't even need to waste your money on like the sprays for the bedding and stuff like that. It's really not gonna be an issue. If you want to to be safe, then you can. But what I recommend is just vacuum your mattress, strip all your sheets, pillows, and pillowcases and stuff, and dry everything for one hour. Do it in increments because you don't want to overstuff your dryer, but just dry each thing for one hour and it'll be sanitized. You won't have to worry about it. If there's any immediate stuffed animals or toys or clothes on the bed, remove them to wash or you can set anything in a bag overnight because they cannot live off their house for more than a day. So um, like anything in the bedroom, it's just going to die. Anything that's not in like um, the bedding or stuff, just put it off to the side or in a bag because it's going to die if it's not on the host. Like on your head it needs a human head to survive so uh, like I said they can't jump or run either so they're pretty much screwed if they're not on you or easily able to move on to another person okay um, and then from there what you can do is just go ahead and vacuum the bedroom um, and that's really all you need to do because if there's like stray hairs that have fallen with eggs on them you'll vacuum them right up and if there's anything on the bedding sheets or pillows then it'll be dried and clean so that's all you need to do. The second step that I took as far as cleaning goes is I also washed my daughter's jackets and dried them. Um, but like I said, heat is the only thing you actively need to worry about. But because of the vinegar, she did wear her jacket after um, the vinegar treatment. So I just went ahead and washed it so that way um, it didn't smell. So now moving on into the tips to give you for uh, like maintenance and treatment. So after you do like the initial apple cider vinegar and combing about two or three times, depending on the level of infestation that you have, you're going to want to keep doing this at least every two days. Because like I said, within a week's time, new bugs can arise and hatch. So you want to make sure you're actively combing. So number one, you can always get a good um, feel for what's in there. You can see if you see anything moving around, noticeable bugs, and you're getting out as many eggs as you can. Now, if you're noticing like, oh, maybe one popped up, or maybe you're still seeing some eggs, I'll recommend that after seven days, you do another lice killing treatment, okay? With the shampoo again now if you don't happen to notice anything this is completely unnecessary but if you happen to notice something maybe those eggs are still getting left behind then you can do another lice shampoo killing but i will say that if you're keeping on top of the apple cider vinegar and the combing alternating like every other day or so then you should be getting rid of this within a week's time so it should be the fastest way for you to get rid of this if you're using that apple cider vinegar and you're using the combing techniques Ooh, I'm really winded from this. Okay, so next up, as far as you know, now let's say you're doing your combings, everything's gone, everything's clean. The next thing that I'll recommend that you do is you can go to the store and you can buy lice preventative shampoos and conditioners. Um, the main ingredients in those are just basically a bunch of um, natural ingredients and essential oils. So the number one thing that the lice do not like are peppermint oil and tea tree oil so I keep those on hand I always have essential oils in the house so what I do is I got a bottle of hair detangling spray you can mix this up yourself if you want you can get your dollar spray bottle put some conditioner in there and then all you need is like 10 to 20 drops of tea tree oil and peppermint oil I use like 10 tree tea tree and 10 peppermint and I just shook that up into our um, hair detangling spray and so now after their shower and stuff like that and when I'm doing their hair I'm just spraying that in their hair as a preventative to go to school because I'm pretty sure that's where it came from you know it's just a common thing that happens in public schools um, unfortunately 
So that's why I'm just spraying this in their hair when they go, making sure their hair stays up, tied back in buns and braids and ponytails and stuff and it's not all crazy so things don't want to jump in there. But with these tips, hopefully, which I can almost guarantee because it's worked for me, is just follow up with all this stuff and you will get rid of lice as fast as you possibly can. So if you want to get rid of the lice naturally too and you don't want to use the chemicals, what you can do is um, you can use extra virgin olive oil or olive oil or mayonnaise, anything like that. You can set first, I will say this, the natural remedies like the oil and the mayonnaise and stuff, like I was saying, those are not going to penetrate the egg. Even if it did, there's still a possibility that like many of them could be left behind and they would be fine and once hatched, then they should, you're having a problem all over again. So if you want to do this, you need to be diligent every day uh, because those natural oils and mayonnaise and stuff, you have to leave those set on the head for 15 to 20 hours in order for it to kill anything. And then um, you still need to do the combings as well. So that's why I recommend for the fastest way, you just kind of bite the bullet and use the chemical shampoo because it will kill everything active so you don't have to worry about anything else spreading. And then you can use the apple cider vinegar as your natural, as your natural remedy for moving forward with the treatment. Um, instead of constantly just waiting for new bugs to hatch and then you keep using the shampoo to kill them because the bugs will keep actively relaying eggs every day. So um, that's what I recommend for that. Now tips outside of that, I also want to add in here, if you want to dye your hair, if, it, if, if you're having lice yourself and, you don't, and you're just kind of too nervous to go somewhere or you don't have money to pay to get it handled professionally, um, after you do like the active killing of the bugs and stuff, you could also dye your hair that kills it um, And then you could also straighten your hair and blow dry it. So um, As a precaution, that's what I did for myself when I was dealing with this I just kind of blow dried my hair and straightened it because the eggs will not survive the heat from those things It dries it out as well as if you um, it's just like using the dryer for your bedding and pillows and stuff. So Okay, there's all the information that I pretty much have on lice as far as how to get rid of it as fast as you possibly can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got a lot of tips. Also, this is our community here and this is a real problem that I feel like a lot of us mothers have to deal with and a lot of people and sometimes you're just stumped and you don't know what to do. Um, so I hope that you found this video extremely helpful and I hope that it helps you to, you know, manage the situation without having to go into a panic attack like I initially did. Um, and it helps you just get rid of it so you don't have to have it as a drawn out process. So if you also have tips or remedies that have helped you, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below because I'm sure people are going to want to read because everybody makes dis different decisions for themselves as well. So you might have a better option that somebody is more comfortable with using than what I've presented in today's video. So go ahead and leave them down below so that way we can all kind of be informed and share the information that way. <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold. So, um, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please share it with your mommy groups or, um, anybody that you feel like just needs this information, new moms, anything that would, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.